Hello, everybody. My name is Chuck Diesel, and I, I used to work for UtilityWise in Prague. Uh, and with them, I was a sales representative for a company we called HomeAway. Uh, you know, they're a vacation rental company. So uh, I'm going to have a couple videos uh, talking about my perspective uh, and the issues and uh, the benefits of HomeAway. So thanks for watching. Share. Continue. Thanks. Peace. Hey, everybody. Uh, this subject is about HomeAway's payment options. And uh, first off, we're going to talk about Yapstone. Uh, Yapstone is uh, is the this company they use for the continental U.S. United States uh, or the U.S. Um, Yapstone is the company, um, and through that, they're the reason why you have to pay the three percent uh, credit card transaction fee. Uh, that fee is supposedly going to uh, to Yapstone, and that just helps them, uh, you know make the transit transaction from uh take the money from the credit card from the traveler and then uh from you know to the final step of uh actually send a direct deposit to your checking account you know one of the main things is uh with yapstone it's like a uh, parallel to paypal in a sense uh um though they might tell you the, that yapstone um is is a one-way street uh you know it's only to uh, send you money to your account uh, if there's reason, um, Yapstone can take the money out of your account also, but I believe they have to have a real reason, but it is a, it is a two way street though. They will tell you it's only a one way street. So, you know, if, if you do something, be prepared cause <coughs> they'll pull it back. Yeah. And the, the process is simple. Uh, for people banking in the United States, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, they want your name, your address, um, then, uh, you know, phone number, routing number, account number. And then at the end, they're going to want to, uh, what, last four of your social and your birth date to submit it. Now, the thing that's, if, you know, if all the information is correct and, and you know, when you submit it, it takes about a minute or two to process. You either get a, you know, um, it was successful or you get the option of a, payments pending so uh within that limbo and it is a limbo uh you're in their system uh and you could be in that limbo for for a month before it's processed or they make a decision uh when when you, the process starts they usually send out an email a lot of people miss it because it goes to their trash um but they do have a number on the site that you can call them uh and that's where your fun begins uh because what they're going to want is a lot of information, personal information from your property, uh, maybe documents to uh, ownership, uh, so forth. Uh, it's, it's a lot of information that that they want, and uh, it's it's timely. Uh, so uh, one of the big steps people put off the payments uh, with Yapstone. Um, do your research on them. They're they're a very interesting company when you uh, when you do like the better business, uh, you know. Uh, ratings and all that uh, I couldn't find too much over a C uh, it's an interesting process and I've heard that home away is trying to trying to get rid of them uh, you know trying trying to build their own system that's that they can use with their own because a lot of people are scared from Yepstone so uh, with that being said uh, the best thing that you can do if you do start a business in this you know in this uh, facility or their company uh, it's a business, so start a separate bank account. Uh, you know, do not associate your money with. <clears throat> have it separate business. That way, you won't have any conflict of interest. You can have an account when the money goes in. You can take it, and then that way it's its loan interest. And that way, you you know you will be able to protect yourself in that. But start a separate bank account. Do not put this on your regular bank account. Uh, there's a lot of fraud that happens. You know, fraud happens with everything, but you know be careful and then uh finally it's like um you canadians who sign up uh through uh, what is it i think believe payoneer the uh, other provider it's totally wild uh you know they ask for your what sin uh the social insurance number you need to give them the full number with uh all this vital information uh when you look at this list it just screams fraud. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of information. Uh, you know, doing it on a computer is one thing, but you should not give this information out over the phone. Uh, you know, they they work for a good company, but 
uh, don't trust people like that. So uh, this is just a little small perspective uh, of HomeAway's pay system, uh, with PayPal, uh, not PayPal, but uh, with uh, Payoneer and uh, Yapstone. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yo, people, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions or, you know, anything, any topics you want to discuss about this subject, uh, just comment below. And, um, yeah, click here or there to see more videos about HomeAway. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.